Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Praveen Kumar Gomez. Today is one of the interesting topics that is DPT ELT pipeline from on premises to Snowflake. How can you load the data from AWS S3 into Snowflake by using DPT macros concept? Okay, let's discuss in detail. So, before going now, you should have understanding of the following concept. Okay, Snowflake database, so DPT cloud. So, macro, you should know what is macro, how macro is working, and how to call a macro. And a copy into command. Okay, so what's the purpose of copy into command and AWS cloud for loading our S3 CSV data and stages. Okay, got the point. So see simple things. Requirement is that what my data is sitting in on premises or legacy system. So see now the ELT team, they try to load the data into AWS S3 or Azure, the ELT system. The same thing now what happened from S3, I want to load into Snowflake. So by using DBT concept, one more time. So my requirement is that what on-premises data is there. This data is the ELT team will try to load into S3 bucket. So from S3 bucket, what? So we need from using DBT concepts, we need to load into Snowflake. That's what the main behavior, got the point. Huh? Okay, we'll see the same thing. We log into Snowflake account and DBT cloud and we try to use this function. One second. Okay, so requirement is that what this is the my file. So ports ID, ports name, the trainer. Assume like there are four records are there, SQL, Snowflake, DBT, and ADS. So this is the code detail. So this data, I want to get into my Snowflake. See, I want to get this data into my Snowflake. Okay, first let me create one table. So create a table, so ports details. So first we should go for transient table. So you should know what is a transient table. Okay, see transient table. Okay, course ID, number, course name, worker, okay, okay, so trainer, so worker, okay, so always follow coding alignment, okay, see, so table has been created, so transient table, so our requirement is that what select to start from my table, what's my table name, so course detail, okay, see, so this, so this data, whatever data is available here, this data I want to get into Snowflake table by using DBT, so DBT macros concept. So this is so far. So before that, what happened? So this data, I want to get into AWS S3 bucket. Okay, let me try to upload. So before that, already I have created some stages, okay? So this is my stage. This stage is pointing to which bucket? So this is my bucket name so our data need to upload in this file so see you should know so prior knowledge how to create a stage so already created the stage so see now we need to upload the data okay so go to this particular bucket search for s3 okay control f control v okay so this is my bucket now try to upload so where is my data? My data is sitting in my local machine. Okay, so this details, Pravin details. So upload. Now go to Snowflake and see the data. Okay, so list. What's our stage name? So stage name is what? Okay, external stage. So control V, control enter. Okay, see, this is my data. Okay, use other rate symbol. See, right now data is there in what? In my AWS S3. So requirement is that what from AWS S3, I want to load the data into Snowflake table. How to load by using what? What command? By using copy into command. So copy into, so table name. Okay, from other stage name. So what is my stage name? This is my stage name. Okay, if I want to load val record, we should go for what? On error equals to continue. These are the main. So see, you need to know this all things prior. Okay, and ports equal to true. Okay, so this is the statement. Okay, see, copy into table name from the stage name on equal to continue. Now see, copy the same functionality. Now try to exit in, in dbt. Here, what happened here you need to understand this word. Okay, if I want to perform copy into command, we should go for what concept? Go for macros concept so see macro so give proper naming so copy macro 
and put the statement. Okay, always follow coding alignment. And here you need to understand what uh, directly we can't able to execute this statement. So we should go for setting and end setting. Okay, so set, we can go for copy command. Okay, so this is setting. Same thing, we should go for end set. Setting and end setting. Okay, so far. Okay, see, now we are setting this end setting in this variable, setting and end setting. Go for then do run query. Okay, now go for this command. Okay, so this is so far. Setting and setting. Now, where I want to save this one? In the macros folder. Okay, so see macros folder. So create. Okay, see the same thing. Now see before confirmation, first you should check what data is there in my table or not. Okay, see as of now, zero records are there. Okay, now we need to go for running the macro. How to run the macro? So syntax so dbt run hyphen operation and the macro name. Okay, so copy macros. Okay, so control. So see if I see if I go back and see in my snowflake table, so record should be available. See, so see four records are there: SQL, Snowflake, DBT, ADF. So Robin sir, so if you're not able to understand, so see first I'll try to explain one more time. Okay, see my data is there in local machine. This data I want to get into Snowflake table. Okay, Snowflake table. Okay, see, first the local data we need to put into AWS S3 bucket. Okay, now from here, there, what happened by using stages concept, we need to access the data and by using copy into command, we want to load into Snowflake table. Okay, so what is syntax? Okay, let me create one more table for understanding perspective. Okay, see. Post details one. Okay, so this is my table. Now, how to load by using what concept? Copy into table. So, course details. So, from what's the stage name? How to get list of stages? Show stages. External stage. Okay, see. So, these are the basic things. Force equal to true. Okay, honor equal to force equal to true. On recall to continue. These are the basic things. Okay, see, so this is so far. Okay, now before now, first we should confirm select start from table name. No records are there. Okay, so same thing, copy the same functionality. Control C, go to DBT, try to open one more session. One second. Okay, one more session. Okay, how to execute? So we should go for macros concept. Okay, macros. So put the logic. Okay, so see here you need to understand is that what? So directly these commands won't execute. We should go for setting and end setting. Set any name. I'm getting Travin DBT. Okay, you can do anything. So DBT train. DBT train. Okay. Okay, setting and end set. And set okay, so then go for do run query. So do run query okay, and we need to pass the what okay, the name okay, can be any name okay. See setting end setting do run query. So where I want to save so macro copy okay, something okay. The so control C control S control V dot SQL. So save in the macros folder. Got the point. Um, so now try to run. Here you need to know how to run the macro. What's the command? So dbt. So dbt run hyphen operation on the macro. So this is the function. Now, so if I go here, if I try to check the data, now three record, four records should be 
available got the point so this is a concept of so by using dbt we are loading the data from aws s3 into snowflake by using dbt macro copy into command and stages comes okay here prior to that you need to know what is copy into command what is stages how to get the stages how to access all things so remember simple thing if you know snowflake and sql dbt can be learned easily that's what the main thing if you like the content subscribe and share the channel thank you for watching